Hi everybody, Cheryl here. I wanted to come on and show you my workspace and how I have it set up for everything. I'll just give you a quick and then we'll get into it. So I am right now sitting at my desk, okay? So here in this little binny bin here, I have my crochet hooks. And while I'm in here, I want to show you what I didn't get to show you. I got these custom made, and I'm going to have to put the link um, the link to the lady that made them for me. Aren't these absolutely gorgeous? That she did like Madeline. Or, I mean, excuse me, Molly. Little bone on there, and it's a crochet hook. And then this one looks like Gracie, our Bassett. Absolutely love them. All right. So in here, I basically just have my normal crochet hooks, my um, hemostats, my scissors. In here is some of my lace and stuff, my little buttons, uh, my needles, my straight pins, all my stitch markers. In that is mainly hair ties, but I also have my staple stuff. For my staplers and um, my chalk markers and one of my measuring tapes. In there is all my buttons and ribbons and whatnots. That's just all my vitamins and medicines and stuff. There's extra hooks and stuff. And in here I have um, my sleeve cozies and my tags. There's my big extra hooks and stuff. Here is all my bells, my rusty bells and stuff, my pens, my flags, all that good crazy stuff. And then, of course, what crochet station is complete without a yarn bowl. Okay, so that's basically my desk setup. And then over here, I have this. All this Bernat is for, I'm going to do the crochet along with Mikey, which I did link in another video, and that's the colors that I chose. Actually, they're what I had on hand, and they were very fall, so I chose them, and that's what I'm going to use. And there's some of my cakes. Down here's a bunch of my cakes. Down there's more cakes. Finished objects. Down here I have pebbles that I get at the Dollar Tree. Again, I don't know if I said it on the video or not, but... I didn't vacuum yet, vacuum yet because tonight is groom night and I'm not going to vacuum twice. That's just lunacy. Up here, I just have some of my good books and our um, remote controls. Why couldn't I think of that name? In here, I have um, some wool and some fun fur. Down there, like my sweet rolls and such. And then down there, I have binder clips and patterns that I got to put in my pattern thingy. Here, I have a great big, humongous basket full of my thicker, chunkier yarn that I drug out for winter. In that thing back there, I have three drawers full of mandala cakes. Okay. In there, I have my extra home deck items. Back there's buttons and business cards and whatnot. There is yarns I use frequently. Now, I'm taking you on a tour here behind. I'm sitting in my chair at my desk, okay? So, like, I turn, and there I see this. And then if you look up here, that's all Karen, or Karen Simply Soft. I didn't even know I had that much Karen Simply Soft. Simply Soft. That is just insanity. There's my great big humongous works in progress basket. Okay, and then we're going to come over here, and I have another basket full of um, chunkier yarn. Here I have my all my cottons, okay, and then i got to stand up now. All right, so here's more. Oh, there's my scrubby yarn. These are mainly all balls, like... um scraps and I have my great big pom-pom maker in there one of my Bernat big ones there's a charisma 
I just kind of put stuff where I can, stuff that I need to be on the ready. There is some lace I have to do my amagurumi. I don't know how the heck to say it. Uh, this is crochet thread in this and a um, part of a uh, whip I'm working on. And then down there is a bunch of, in that bottom stacker, is a bunch of yarn. More yarn. More yarn. Hello. More yarn. And my hat thing. There's my other hat thing. Okay. So there, there is basically what I, this is what I use on the norm. Okay. Now let me put this back because I've been working hard to keep this somewhat um, logical for myself. And then I'm going to show you how, which I think is pretty doggone genius, how I do my patterns because my patterns were all over the place. Sorry, I don't know where I'm even taking you here. Okay, this is actually a UFO I'm going to put right here. And these, them I already showed you. Okay, so patterns. Now, I have these binders that I got at Dollar Tree for a buck. And I'm going to show you what I did with them. Okay, like this one I have labeled toys. And then you open it up, and I have my patterns printed, and then sheet protectors. And like the pattern itself, I have stapled. So this entire pattern is stapled that when I want to make that puppy, all I got to do is pull it out and make that puppy. Same with the sheet, so on and so forth. And let me show you, these... These things hold a lot of patterns. I mean, they're awesome for a buck, okay? And then I have another toy one because, well, I like doing that kind of stuff. Okay. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And then I have one that is, oh, here's some patterns I got to put away. See, these are out of my binder. And then I have one that's blankets labeled. And then I have blankets in there. As you can see, I don't print a lot of blankets. But I do have some printed. And then this binder is accessories miscellaneous. My Sharpie died. This is a calendar I got. And this is like um, sizes and charts and things like that. And that I like a flower, holly. Al cozy pattern and then I have another one that's big attire sweaters booty shawls etc oops sweaters booty shawls etc this is a an actual whip I'm working on for my mom's neighbor I'm working on that and that has a lot of a lot of pages this is still that I mean this is like a huge pattern I couldn't even staple it Okay, and then one of my favorites by, um, I think, Amy B. Stitched. Amy B. The Meandering Paw Prints scarf. I made a ton of them. Some wrap boots for babies. Coco Baby ankle booties. Uh, Dragon Tear gloves I made for my friend's daughter. Um, egg apron I made for a friend. Loved making that. I actually made this vest. <laughs> Guys guys and then these are I think extra hats because I have so many hat patterns I'm sure of it because I don't think all my hats fit let's see oh yeah no they didn't okay here's my hat book and as you can see this sucker's packed but I love it because like here I'll show you an example this is one that I'm working on next so I just pull out the pattern I want okay pull it out set it on my desk, gather my materials, kick back in my chair, watch my big screen TV, and crochet away. I absolutely, my setup is the bomb diggity. And when I'm done here, I'm going to actually go back and show you from a distance what it looks like. Um, in fact, I can do that now because I pretty well showed you. All I just have is another um, book there, and that one is, this one was hats that we're going through, and this one is fur kids so it's whatever patterns I print it for my dogs like these uh, uh, visors I like to make the cup cozies things like that okay so here and I need more binders because 
Jackson's in there, but maybe I could pull it. Oh, Jackson, you can stay. That is more sheet protectors, my clips, and underneath there is a butt ton of patterns that I have to put in the thing. And yes, there's dirt there. I spilt something. I didn't clean it up. My bad. Um, okay, so now I'm going to step back and give you, I'm just going to give you a whole synopsis of my living room. Anything that looks out of place or whatever, just ignore it. I only gave my house a lick and a promise today. So it might be a little messy, but okay. I kind of like the primitive country. There's my backyard that needs cleaned up. Okay. So, oh, these I made when I sewed. That pumpkin is a pattern by Marie Mitchell Mills, Sweet Metal Farms. And that candy corn is the smallest of three that was actually a pattern I designed and released a couple years ago. All right, so here we go. There's my doll that I made sitting on the rocket chair. Puppy that I made. All right, so when you come into my living room, this is what you see. And yes, it kind of looks cluttered. I get that. But it works for me, and I need it to work for me, especially with about to get surgery. So this is kind of my entire work corner, and I love it. I think it's inviting, and all you that love to crochet... I think you're going to think the same thing. Like you just want to come in here and work. And like I said, I get to be right in my family room with my TV. And I get to be with my family and do my thing. And I'm going to run you out in my kitchen quick. Because I want you to see just a little bit of fall decoration I have. This is it. My table set up there. I got that hanging there. As you can see, we're in the middle of wallpapering. I got... The cat just knocked that over, but this is what I absolutely love. My uh, my island isn't that beautiful. I'm like so impressed with it. Just inviting and folly. All right, I'm gonna pause you and I'm gonna wait. How long is this video so far? 12 minutes. All right, I'm gonna actually stop this video here and then I'm gonna come back with another one, which is my finished finished objects. But for now, I'm gonna leave you with my beautiful islandscape, and I'm gonna actually take a picture of it because it's gorgeous. No, you know what? I'll take a picture. Oh, here's more of mine. Like this is another basket, a, bu a bucket of whips. And then say hi, Benny. Benny, Benny. And then down there's more of my big Bernat blanket. So I can't even fit everything into my living room, if you want to know the truth. My hanging lantern. So pretty. So yeah. Anyway, I'm going to stop this video, and then I'm going to come back with a um, finished object video. All right. I'll be back.